Hi everybody, happy reading week, or uh, for those of you who don't know, the Canadian version of spring break. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm here with my video of the week, and uh, this video has a bit of an introduction because um, I recently set out on a journey to make spaghetti more interesting. I have a bunch of spaghetti that was on sale a couple of weeks ago, and it's just so boring usually. So uh, here are a few tips and tricks that I found to make spaghetti more interesting. So here I am uh, making the spaghetti, and I'm going to take this time to lay out the framework for this episode of college cooking. So basically, I'm going to have this spaghetti, and I'm going to make a bunch of sample sizes of various recipes or various ideas you can use to make your spaghetti more interesting. Peanut butter some soy sauce to make it a bit more liquidy and what should be this should be sriracha I don't have sriracha so I'm just doing hot sauce and you do this as much as you need flavor mix it all around then just add your serving of spaghetti stir it around some more here we've got a, a classic and a <clears throat> super straightforward and easy one meatballs bit of red sauce and your spaghetti. <clears throat> Can't go wrong. Here's one of the stranger ones. First you do a little spaghetti. Then you do your red sauce. Then you can either mix in some beer, which I don't have, uh, or I've got maple syrup. And you just do a little bit of that, mix it in. Another very easy way to spice up spaghetti, if this is if you're really, you've had too much and it's just not tasting good, you can add some vinegar just for some extra flavor or to change the flavor. A classic is just bread and butter, a bit of red sauce, put your spaghetti on top and eat it like a sandwich. Boom. All right, now we're getting to some more involved ones. As you can see, I'm heating up some butter. This one is basically just fried spaghetti. You just So this recipe, you can add a lot to it. If you're a vegetable kind of person, you can saute some zucchini, put that in there, some peppers, some onions, you know, anything really. Make it a little crispy. There, now you're starting to hear the, the crackling crispy sound. That's good. You got me frying up some veggies for the next recipe. Peppers, onions, and here we're making an omelet. So just crack some eggs into a bowl. Pour in a bit of milk. Whisk it up. Preheat the pan on medium heat. There, out of five. Put some butter on it. So if you use too small of a pan, it's going to turn into more of a frittata. Uh, frittata just means you kind of cook the stuff into the eggs. An omelet, you cook the eggs and then you put the stuff inside. You'll see. All right, here we go. So you spread your egg around. Get a nice thin layer. Let it cook for a minute. All right, we're getting to the point where we can top it. So that means uh, I've got some plastic cheese here. I'm gonna toss that on. Got two of them actually. Like that. Got some more cheese. Because you can never have too much cheese, except I just kind of put too much cheese on. That is a lot of cheese left. And uh, once the cheese sets them out, you take your uh, spaghetti. It can either be fried spaghetti or not fried spaghetti. Uh, and then your veggies, those can also be fried or not fried. You just kind of toss those on like falls. Uh-huh. And then you just kind of fold your omelet over. And it looks like I have way too much toppings for the side of the omelet. And it looks like my pan's sticking. So we're trying to put the scrambled eggs, everybody. Scrambled eggs. Yum. Moral of the story. Well, here are my creations. Here we have got just toast and red sauce and spaghetti. We've got our omelet. <laughs> our omelet. Here we have the vinegar, the peanut butter sriracha, spaghetti and meatballs, red sauce and maple syrup. And there's no use in making all these creations if we don't eat them, so let's get started. Alrighty, let's get going. I'm gonna start with the meatballs, just cause you can't go wrong with meatballs. There we go. Mm-hmm. 
that's a good one. It's a good variation of spaghetti. So meatballs are Gustav approved. Next we'll go with the vinegar. I'm hoping this one's good too. <laughs> it's gonna taste like vinegar. Well, the spaghetti actually dampens the flavor of the vinegar quite a bit. So it just adds a nice tinge to it. This one is also Gustav approved. Now I've got our toast. It's kind of boring, to be completely honest. All right, here we've got our red sauce and maple syrup. Let's give it a taste. You can really hardly taste it, but it's a nice touch. This one is if you're really, really bored with plain old spaghetti and red sauce. All right, here we've got our uh, peanut butter sriracha. Let me just stir on the peanut butter a bit more. This one, you can you could smell it. It actually smells like it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, all right, it is good. I used a bit too much peanut butter and not enough sriracha, so. This one is really Gustav approved. It's by far the least spaghetti tasting and it's still very good. Good, Gustav approved. And now we're at our omelet. <laughs> let's, let's give this a try. This is my first time eating a spaghetti omelet, so I'm hoping it's good. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. That is good. That is really good. You can just taste the spinach a little. The onions are a good touch. So are the peppers, the cheese. Mm, this one's good. Well, everybody, I'm gonna have to continue my carb loading without you. I might be a few pounds heavier the next time you see me. Lots of uh, carbohydrates here. Anyway, uh, just a final verdict. Omelet, awesome. Peanut butter sriracha, awesome. The rest of them are good as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good break. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so.